Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a pretty little capsule collection here from Southern Poshnail Dips. This is the Patriotic series, and it is just in time for all those gorgeous 4th of July manis you got planned. So I'm going to go through each of these six dips and show you some swatches, and then we will put together a very classy 4th mani complete with some very, very, very easy firework nail art. So if all that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around. We're getting into it. Okay, my friends, so before we get going, if you are curious about the Manny on my left hand, this is the Manny I did with Born Pretty's Modern City Neon Gel Collection, and I'm still loving on this one. So if you have not seen that video, I will have it linked for you the cards, but uh, spoiler alert, the gels worked very well and are very affordable, so make sure you go check out that video. So like I said, this is the Patriotic Series from Southern Posh Nail Dips, and it is already available, so if you're interested in any of them, I will have them linked for you down in the description box. But I really just am in love with this collection because I feel like there's a little bit of everything here, even though it is a smaller collection. So we've got some gorgeous shimmers to anchor the whole thing, but then we've got some foils, we've got a fine glitter, we've even got a glow. It's just a really cool mix. So I'm going to go through each of these swatches and show them to you, and then I will show you what I decided to pick for my Manny today. All right, so first up we have Rocket Red, and this is a really subtle red shimmer, and I would say it's a little bit more on the warmer side. It's not super warm, but a little bit more on the warmer side. Next up is Hello Sailor, and this is a shimmer blue with a little bit more shimmer than the red has in it. Guys, this is such a staple color, and it's so well formulated. I'm really in love with this blue. So the fine glitter we have is called Shake Your Sparkler, and this is beautiful. It's a classic red, white, and blue with a little bit of like a champagne gold to it. And I feel like not all the colors are coming out really clearly in this swatch, but it's really beautiful. The chunky glitter we have here is called Home of the Free, and this is a shimmer white base, and it has some satin glitters in red and blue and white and gold. And then it's got some cute little blue stars in there. I really, really love this one. So the glow we have in this collection is called Patriotic Glow, and this is another shimmer white base, and then it has some red, blue, and gold foils, and I'll pop a picture in here of the glow because it's really cute. It's kind of a, like a teal glow. Next up is All American, and if you love foils, you're going to love this one because it is a clear base with red, blue, and gold foils, and it really makes such a striking look once you swatch it. So I ended up picking out the Rocket Red Hello Sailor and then this gorgeous chunky called Home of the Free. I wanted something festive but also kind of classy looking so I feel like this really fit the bill and I wanted those solids to kind of anchor everything and be a good background for my little firework nail art. So let's go ahead and put these on our fingers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to the dipping. I will leave some of this regular speed and speed some of this up, but I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys a little bit about 4th of July and have a little conversation with you down in the comments about what you guys do. But 4th of July is one of those holidays that I have very mixed feelings about. So I know we do have some international friends here. So if you're not familiar with the holiday, 4th of July is basically a celebration we hold in the States to mark our independence. And it's usually commemorated by lots of barbecue and outdoor activities and fireworks. It's just a fun time. Having said that, the 4th of July gives me mixed emotions because I really do enjoy the barbecue and the time with family and outdoor activities. But I'm going to be completely honest with you, I am not the biggest fan of fireworks. I definitely appreciate a big, beautiful display put on by the city, but I get a little concerned with fireworks being popped near my home. So I think this stems back from when I lived in Washington state for quite some time. And during the 4th of July, it was not illegal to pop fireworks there in the city and our houses in our neighborhood were pretty close together. And so just fireworks were literally falling on my roof and it just <laughs> made me panic like the whole night. Now that I'm back in my home state of Texas, it is actually illegal to pop fireworks in the city limits. And if you're wondering why that is, it's because it's usually pretty hot and dry here, which makes things pretty flammable. So we definitely don't like fireworks, you know, landing in people's yards and roofs. But let's be honest, that doesn't stop most people from popping them anyway. And there's only so much the police can handle on a night like that when lots of folks are breaking the law. 
quick pause to tell you that if you notice that spot on the blue, that's because I accidentally pulled off a little piece there with my cuticle tool. So I just kind of patched it up. You'll see once I put the second layer on, that look will go away. Anyway, all this to say that this is a night where I'm a little bit on the edge of my seat for most of the night, just wondering if there's going to be an issue. And of course, my dog hates them, absolutely hates them. And it's not really a fear thing for him. It's more like an aggression thing. Like he gets really angry at the fireworks and he starts barking a lot. So I can't blame him for that. You know, it's just one of those things I know pets don't normally deal very well with the fireworks. So between all of that, you know, I feel like I'm a little bit of a fuddy-duddy when it comes to the fireworks. So... So I'm sure I'm coming off as a little bit of a buzzkill, so maybe I'll regret telling you guys all that, but let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel about fireworks? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What do you guys do? What's it like where you live? Are y'all allowed to pop them in the city limits? Whether you are team fireworks or not, if you are celebrating the 4th, I'm going to tell you now in advance, I hope you have a wonderful holiday and have some great time and some great food with your family. I will actually be off for this 4th of July, which doesn't always happen. So I will actually be off for about a week and the 4th will fall kind of in the middle of that. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm thinking I will probably make my favorite dill potato salad to celebrate. And hopefully I can talk the hubs into throwing something yummy on the grill. All right, so salads are done. So I'm telling you guys that blue has just stolen my heart. But we're gonna go ahead and dip into this beautiful glitter. And I'm gonna do what I usually do, which is to try to pick up just a little bit less on the bottom layer and then get more of the chunky pieces on the top. But this glitter applied very easily and laid very flat. So really impressed with this one if you're looking for more of like a classy look, but a little bit of fun with the chunky pieces. I'm gonna take a break here for a minute, guys. I will be right back. So I'm going to go ahead and take perfectly clear here and encapsulate these glitter nails. So I did end up doing two layers on them. And I did want to say that if you're somebody who likes the idea of glitter shapes, but finds them difficult to work with, I think you'd really like this one because the stars are so small and flexible that I really did not have any issues getting them to lay flat. So I actually didn't even do the baggy trick that I normally do to press down the glitter because I just felt like they were flat and looked really nice on their own. So I just encapsulated and clear and activated and then went right into finishing up the nails. So like I said, if you're somebody who likes the idea of a chunky and the star shapes, I think you'd really like this one because it was really easy to work with. Okay, so I went ahead and activated those glitter nails so everything is all finished up. And you can see this is going to take very little filing buffing, but I'm going to jump off camera and do that real quick and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and put my gel top coat on everything but the middle now because we're going to finish that one up together. But look at this glitter with the gel top coat on. I just think it's so shiny and beautiful. And I love that the stars have a bit of like a mirror shift to them. So I just think it looks really cool in the sunlight. All right, so I just got a couple of my line art gels here, one from an inexpensive set on Amazon and then the white from my iGel Beauty Kit. So I'm just gonna put a little of these down here on my tray. And what we're gonna do is basically make kind of an abstract nod to a firework. And I really do like the way this one turns out because I feel like it makes it look really classy, but it's super easy to do. I mean, super, super easy, guys. So I'm just putting down a layer of gel base here, but yeah, oh, the irony of the fact that I am putting down firework nail art on my nails when I just got done telling you that fireworks were not my favorite part of the 4th of July, but what can I say? I'm an enigma like that. So like I said, I feel like this is a super easy technique and definitely one that you could paint with your non-dominant hand if you wanted to try this. Really all you're doing is lines and it, they don't have to be perfect because it's designed to mimic the look of a firework that's just popped. So you're not trying to make it look perfect or like straight or even. It's really more of like that whimsical look. So again, I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to talk you through the whole thing, but basically I am drawing some lines with the white and then I go back in with the gold and then some smaller, finer details with the white um, and then put a few little dots on there and that's really all there is to this.
have the nail art all finished up so I think it looks really cute and it's definitely something you could do with whatever colors you wanted to use so I'm just adding my layer of gel top coat on top and that's it all right my friends so these nails are fourth of July ready so I am needing to rehydrate those cuticles so I am going to bust out a brand new favorite that is coming to Scales of a Mermaid on Friday the 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern. You guys do not want to miss this one. I've been waiting for it. This is Sugar Sugar and it is inspired by creme brulee and it smells just like creme brulee with the caramelized sugar on top. And I was so inspired by this scent that I had to go actually make creme brulee after I smelled this. So I will insert some footage of my creme brulee finished up. But yeah, I just think it is a lovely scent and you're gonna want this one if you like creme brulee or brown sugar at all. You're gonna love this scent. All right, so I am loving this finished mani. It feels like 4th of July gone classy, which was exactly what I was looking for. And I feel like this collection as a whole is really classy too. So tell me, are you guys more into the fine glitters or the chunky glitters or do you like the foils? Let me know in the comments down below. So that is going to complete this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, it would help me out so much if you would give me a thumbs up down below. And while you're there, if you have not subscribed already, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. And don't forget that notification bell. We got new content coming every Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Central. So as always, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.